What's up guys, Linux Fan Man here. So we're doing that last video of that huge retro gaming pickup that I got. Uh, what we're going to do is go through every system uh, and kind of show what I got in this haul. And then I'm going to compare what I had before as to what I have now. Um, and just kind of go over those different systems as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these. But before we do, go ahead and uh, click on like and subscribe down there. And All right, guys. So here's the whole setup here. Just like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these systems. So here's the Atari 5200 uh, game system. Uh, this is the Model 2, which has the two game ports in the front. And this one doesn't have that flaky power adapter that plugs into the RF adapter and cause like all those house fires in the 80s. So this is the Model 2. So this is the safe one, but unfortunately it only has the two, um, the two uh, joystick ports in the front. Uh, now I did have this system, this exact system, uh, the Model 2. So that's good. Uh, here's the ColecoVision. And uh, I had one of these as well. And the Master System, I had this one as well. And then this whole Sega Genesis get up here. So the Genesis, the 32X, and the Sega CD. I had the same exact setup. I had the this is the Model 2, and I had the same one, the Model 2. I always tried to find the Model 1, but I just could never find it. It's just so hard to find here. I don't know why. And we have the uh, Sega Dreamcast. I had one of these as well, the white model, just like this. And then the Sega Saturn. This is the Model 2 Sega Saturn, so the same one that I used to have. The NES, I used to have that too. Alright guys, and here's the 2600 here. So this is a light sixer. Um, now I had like every model of Atari's 2600 VCS basically. So I had the heavy sixer, I had this uh, light sixer, I had the four switch woody, and I had the Vader along with the Atari Junior as well. And with this pickup, I got pretty much everything again, but the Junior. I don't have a Junior right now. Then the two Pong systems here, Atari Pong systems. Um, I did have Super Pong, but I did not have the original Pong. And original Pong, this is kind of cool that I got this pickup because um, this is like the first video game system I ever played as a kid. <laughs> yeah that's me way back in 1979 all right guys so you can see that pong holds a special place in my heart really so let's go on down here now we have the uh, Atari Jaguar uh, I was actually surprised to see this because these are getting hard to find and when you do find them they're just way overpriced in my opinion but uh, yeah pretty cool pickup I did have one of those 7800, I also had one of those. Super Nintendo, I had one of those as well. And then the GameCube here, uh, I had one of those. PS2, obviously, I had. Now, this collection also came with the um, PS2 Slim. I just didn't set it up here. I just figured one PS2 is good enough, so I put it in the uh, closet in a box over there. All right, and the original PlayStation 1, I had one of those. In fact, I had the same exact models, too. Uh, this is the 7501. Xbox 360, I had that. Xbox, I had that. And then you just your standard uh, Nintendo uh, N64 down here, I had that. Um, I... Now the cool thing about this, I did have an Atari XCGS, but I only had the game system. I didn't have the keyboard or the zapper gun or the uh, controller for it. Now, I don't have the controller or the zapper gun still, but I did pick up the keyboard, so that was pretty cool to get. And then uh, Atari Pinball over there. Now I had one of these, but I actually ended up selling it like a week after I got it. So it was actually kind of cool to get this back. All right, guys. Then we have the Sega Nomad. Now, I did have a Nomad. Um, and this is another system that 
is getting really hard to find and when you do they're i can't say they're overpriced i think it's kind of cool sega genesis on the go so if you replace the screen that's in this with a modern screen and use lithium ion batteries use a conversion kit to do that it actually turns out to be a pretty cool system so that might be a future project with this one uh same with the game gear here um basically putting a new screen in that and the, the battery mod as well now I had that system too, the Game Gear. Um, the television I also had. Mine was not damaged like this. This actually has a little damage. This piece is starting to come up and it folded right here so it looks like crap. But I guess I can glue, the, glue this down. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of glue I want to use. Um, I could use hot glue but I'm kind of afraid to do that. I don't want to use super glue or anything. But I'll figure out something I'll use on that. Hey, if you guys got an idea, put it down there in the comments. I just don't want something that's going to damage the plastic below. All right, guys. So, let's see what else we got in here. So, PSP. The original PSP 1000 right there. So, um, I did have one of those, but I ended up giving that to my son. So, it's kind of cool to actually get that back. The PSP 2000 up there, I, all, um, I already had. That was mine. Um, and then... I never showed you guys this. This is that Atari Flashback Portable, uh, where you can put the SD card in it and play basically your own ROM files. So basically, I have every Atari game on this that I can take with me on the go. And as you can see, with the screen, it's definitely gotten some use over the years. <laughs> I used to take that with me to work when I used to work help desk jobs, just sitting there in between calls. Crazy. Uh, Game Boy Color, I did have one of these as well, but I had the green one. This is the smoke colored one, I guess, or it's, maybe it's purplish colored. I don't know what color that is. I'm colorblind. Oh no, it's it's clear, so it's like smoke. I'm colorblind, guys, so I can't see shit like that. <laughs> uh, let's see, Game Boy Advance, I did have one of those. Um, I did have the uh, Game & Watch, the Super Mario Brothers one, but I did not have the Donkey Kong one. Uh, and the funny thing about this is I used to have a Donkey Kong, um, you know, it was like little mini consoles back in the 80s. Uh, I did have one of those, and it actually was the same exact game as that that's on this Game & Watch here, except it was in color. So it was actually kind of cool. If I can find another one of those, it was made by Coleco. It was really cool. Uh, so then all the uh, Tiger games here. Um, I did have a few Tiger games, but honestly, guys, I can't remember which ones I had. Um, I just kind of picked them up as they came. <laughs> you know, like I saw one at Goodwill, I'd just pick it up or something. Or if I saw one at a garage sale, I'd just pick it up. Um, and then the Game Boy SP. Um, I believe I had one of these, and I think I gave it to my son, and he lost it. So it's kind of cool to have that back. <clears throat> All right, guys, and then down here... The electronic football game, um, I did have one of those as well, the original one on this side. So that's kind of cool to get that. This one, I don't know if I had one of the newer ones. I want to say I did, but I think it was a baseball game and not the uh, football one. Uh, this pinball machine, this, what is it, Wildfire Pinball, um, I did not have that. So that's kind of cool. A Pocket Simon as well, I did not have um <laughs> you can see up here this is some of my other junk i don't know if you guys remember showbiz pizza um but billy bob and mitzi up there so that's kind of cool um and then also here this is for rob maximum R D. so uh i think like what was his last video or maybe two videos ago he uh, was talking about a little miniature arcade like this that he got from one of his fellow youtubers so uh, this one's the 201 video games, I guess. Um, so it's basically like an NES on a chip, and it doesn't really have the 200 games, that's for damn sure. Um, <laughs> basically, every level of Mario is considered a game. Um, so it's kind of fun, but really tiny, and it's just basically a novelty item. All right, guys, so I was also got this Intellivision flashback here in the box. I got the Commodore 64 in a box. Uh, the Maxi I already had. And then these uh, speaking spells I ended up getting. Now I had one of these speaking spells, one of the newer ones, but I did not have one of these with the, the little uh, actual tactile buttons. So that's kind of cool. 
And then the Atari 600 XL computer down here underneath. And then obviously this Game Boy that has some kind of damage on it. So this here is going to be a project as well. Um, it, essentially, I'm going to be uh, probably getting a new case. Uh, I'll probably get the new backlit screen for it and put it in here. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the entire collection that I got. Now I did get that Commodore 64C and that Amiga 500, the Amiga 2000, and the Apple IIe as well with this. Uh, so if you watch the other videos, you'll see those. Um, I didn't want to pull those out because I got them stored in the closet up here in boxes. Um, when I go to use them, I'll pull them out. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way how in this little room I can connect those computers up as well. But... I haven't quite figured that one out yet. So for right now, they're going to be closet dwellers until then. Um, but anyway, guys, so the systems that I had that I don't have now, uh, really, there's only two that I can really think of that I that I had. Uh, one being the Fairchild Channel F. As you guys can see, that was released. It's that wood grain thing as well. Uh, it was released about the same time that the Atari 70 or 2600 was released. Um, it was like 77, 78, somewhere around there. Um, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. But it was one of the first video game uh, consoles just like the Atari that had the programmable cartridges that you could put in. So instead of it just being like a Pong game or a, a tennis game or a breakout game... Um, with several different variations it would be like hey i can play combat i can play space invaders i can play you know that kind of thing although they didn't have any of those <laughs> licensed atari games on there uh, but the controller was definitely different it was like pistol grip and you had a trigger and then on the very top was a uh, like a thumbstick, uh, kind of like on your modern playstation or xbox controller it was analog um so that was kind of cool uh, the other system that I used to have was a Vectrix. Um, so if you guys don't know what that is, it was pretty much like a game system built all in one. So it had the uh, the vector, vec what is that, vector graphics, uh, kind of like Asteroids or the Star Wars arcade games, you know, kind of like that. Um, but it had the programmable cartridges and everything. It was all uh, system built all into one. It was built all into the monitor. Um, so the cartridges would plug into the side. Here's All right, guys, so that's about it. Uh, so really, I lost two systems and I gained one. Uh, now, trying to find a Vetrix or a Fairchild Channel F nowadays is like nearly impossible. Um, and if you do, they're well, well, well overpriced. Like I said, video games to me, in my opinion, shouldn't be six, seven hundred dollars for some old system that has like eight games for it. It just doesn't make no sense to me, but. You know, video game collectors are video game collectors, and uh, certain companies have screwed up the market, uh, including eBay, I would say. Uh, there was a time back in eBay you could find stuff cheap, but nowadays that is not the case. Um, and other auction companies I'm not going to name have caused some issues in the video game market as well for these prices just to raise like crazy. It's like houses right now. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I just wanted to say thanks for uh, watching the video, and please like and subscribe down below. Hit that little bell so you get my notifications as well when I post new content. I'm trying to post content every day. Um, sometimes I'm going to have to take a day off. Life is life, so just bear with that. All right, y'all. Peace out.